back to my channel. My name is Ty. Today we are going to be reviewing this wonderful foundation from Dior. It's called the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So we're going to be reviewing this today. Um, I initially wanted to pick this up because I follow, I believe her name is styled by Jay Marie um, on Instagram. And she did like a little segment where she basically encourages african-american dark-skinned women on different products and things to try and she said this foundation is a must-have so of course i had to go to sephora and pick it up because her face her makeup she always looks flawless so i definitely decided i need to try this because why not so we're gonna be trying this out um i have already moisturized and primed my face i also did a little bit of color correcting um I just a couple things I've used thus far um I used and I just picked this up from Sephora too the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream I really like it so far um, my face feels super hydrated which I like um I went in and I color corrected with the LA Pro Girl Orange Corrector and for my primer I used the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. So let's get into it. A couple things about this foundation. It says it's for professional performance and it's waterproof and sweat resistant. Um, it says the custom build foundation with a natural glow finish. And I am in the shade 7 Neutral or 7N. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to swipe it on my face. That way I can make sure I'm getting even coverage everywhere. And I'm going to blend that out. I don't know how this, um, I don't know how this ooh, finish is. So I'm just going to work on one side of my face at a time just so that it doesn't dry down too much. And I sprayed my brush with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I'm just going to be pressing that into my skin. So far, so good. And I will also add, this foundation smells heavenly. Like, it smells like, like roses or something. Like, I don't know, it has some type of a scent to it. it smells divine. <laughs> I'm so extra. So I'm just enter. Put a little bit on the chin. So my um, my mirror is like literally right behind my camera. So I'm looking directly at myself. And so far, I'm liking what I see. I'm not going to put a whole lot on my forehead. As I proceed to put a whole lot on my forehead. <laughs> um... I gotta give me a new mirror. My mirror fell and it like cracked and I need like another little, I have other mirrors, but I don't have one that like sits up. That's what I need, like a stand up mirror. I saw one at TJ Maxx, but I'm so impatient y'all. Like I was not trying to um, in that line the line was like so long that day and all i had was that mirror and i was like yeah no it ain't it's not that serious this is what we're looking like so far looking good um but we're gonna go in and we're gonna finish the rest of our face so i'm just gonna finish the rest of my face um i'm using the la pro girl concealer and the shade Beautiful Bronze for my highlight. And 
And I'm honestly looking for more concealers too, just because um, I want to try like, well, <clears throat> there's other ones that I really like. Like I like the NARS. I like, um, I like the NARS Creamy Radiant. And Tarte Shape Tape was also one that I liked too. And I also like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer as well. But all of my concealers, I used to like my concealer is very like yellow based and I'm trying I'm kind of like getting out of that I want something more like neutral so that's why I like this shade but I haven't found anything in this color that one's more width than this one so we're gonna switch I love this brush because when you're going under your eyes it literally like gets in there perfectly like and then you can like flip it and it gets on the outer corner like really good too And when I'm blending my forehead, I like to start on the edges again, but I kind of kind of start in the edges and around the edges and kind of like just all in the middle of it. And I like to bring it down because I want to make my forehead look smaller, not larger. So I like to bring it all in so it's not blowing that out too much. So I kind of like to blend like this where I'm blending kind of like downward. I'm making with my brush that I use for my foundation. I'm just going to kind of go around the edges just to make sure everything is blended. Seamless. And then I'm going to go around that too. And I'm going to go on my chin. Add a little bit there and blend that out too. Spray my face with this Mario Badescu rose water again. I'm trying to cover my hair so it's not getting my edges wet. And I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey and I'm going to set all the areas I put that highlight. Worsome. <laughs> That's all they do all day long is just bark. And he got this. thing around his uh neck what are those things called when they, i guess when dogs be having like fleas or something like he got that around his neck that little i don't know what it what it's called see how good that looks fire so yeah just keep pressing it in like that until We get everything, you know, all blended in. This on our brows, because it just kind of helps lighten it up a little bit so it's not so dark. Okay, can y'all see? Oh, it looks a little bit lighter compared to that one. I really prefer um, Mocha Mommy, but y'all saw what happened. If you seen my last video, you saw what Mocha Mommy is looking like right now. So yeah, a hot ass mess. A Naughty Spice by Color Dream. And now, just so that that pops a little bit more, I'm going to take some more of this Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to just lightly trace that out. And I don't want that sitting on there long because 
I don't want it like doing the most. I just want it to like, you know, make it a little bit more visible, but not too crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out really quick. And we're gonna go in with a, another brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I kind of want to put a little bit more powder under my eye and not press it all the way in, just set it under there. So that we can finish off um, our eyes. This eyeshadow that I used on my lid in the crease, which is credit. From the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collab. This soup, this shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. And with this little tiny Morphe brush in M506. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this ginger on the end right here, just to buff that out underneath my eye at the bottom. So it's not like, so it's like just a little bit more, you know, like blown out. Yeah, you can see the difference it just looks better doesn't look so like I don't know it just looks more finished like more polished so now I'm gonna go in with taupe by Mac it's my lip color And I like love this color. I feel like it's so pretty for um, dark skin. Because it's not too much, but it's giving something. You know what I mean? And then to top this, I'm going to go in with Hot Chocolate by Fenty. Final look. Okay, so my final thoughts. Um, looking at myself, I honestly really, really like it. I've not been hot on foundation lately, so I am. I'm liking it. It's giving. I mean, I know I haven't like had it on long. Um, so I'll probably like update you guys. Um, I'm probably going to keep this on. What time is it right now? It is two o'clock on the dot. So yeah, I feel like I really like it. So some of the pros I feel like I have right now is that number one, because it's a face and body foundation, most face and most face and body foundations are going to be super, super, super lightweight. Like almost, it almost is like a, like super kind of watery, like almost kind of runny. 
Um, so the good thing about that is it literally feels like you have nothing on. Like, I don't even feel like I feel the foundation on my face, which is a great thing. Um, it smells amazing. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I've never smelled a foundation that like smells good. Like they just, I mean, not that they smell bad. It's just, they just smell like a normal foundation smell. This smells so good. Like it smells like, it smells almost fragranty, like perfumey, like as for, I swear it smells like a perfume that I have. I feel like it smells like, um, let me see. It's giving me like, I, I want to say, hold on. Let me grab this perfume bottle. Does it smell like this? It does. It kind of, Okay, so it kind of smells like this Versace uh, Bright Crystal. I, girl, it's so gone. But it kind of smells like that to me, but like not as potent. Like, yeah, but anywho, um, I really like it so far. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think the color, how do y'all think the color match? Is? Really, really, really like it. It feels super lightweight. If you're a person that sweats really bad, it's saying that it is, I think the box said that it is waterproof and sweatproof. So probably really, really good if you um, are gonna be getting married or something like that and you probably need a good foundation that's gonna last for a while. I will probably suggest it based on what it says alone, not based on, um, not based on, you know, my own personal experience with it, obviously, thus far. But yeah, it's really, really nice. I feel like I have a nice matte uh, matte finish, but I don't feel like I look casket ready. Because a lot of times that's how I feel about matte foundations. I don't really particularly like them. I either tend to like, um, like a dewy foundation or a satin finish. It's like my personal preference. But this is like... It's amazing because it's like it gives you matte, but it don't give you dry. Like you look, you still look luscious. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here for it. Like I really, really like it. I feel like this is about to be a new fave of mine. There are so many more foundations that I also do want to review. So this will just be one of many to come. So um, if you end up buying it or trying it, let me know what you think about it. But personally, I say run and get it. Don't walk, run. I feel like this literally can work for anyone, all skin types, because it's like if your skin is dry, it's not going to make you feel dry. And if you're oily, I feel like it's going to probably also probably work well for you as well, just because of the fact that it is like waterproof, sweatproof, all of that. So I feel like this is probably a very good foundation for all skin types. And it's super lightweight. Probably will be super great to have this like as a summer foundation, <laughs> clearly for all the reasons I just said. And it's just so lightweight. Like you could literally wear this in the summertime and you would be like, you would be good. Like, I like that. Um, the finish kind of sort of reminds me, not the finish, excuse me, the, uh, the foundation itself kind of puts me in the mind of the mac water weight foundation i don't know if you guys remember when mac came out with that water weight foundation i was obsessed with that too the consistency of them to me is like similar like not exactly the same but kind of similar kind of like that runny like what more watery texture but the difference with this is that this gives you like coverage like you get coverage the mac one was a little bit more like oily or something but the formula for this is the bomb like definitely go pick it up try it um, if you're kind of skeptical, I would go to Sephora, get a sample and just try it out and see how you like it. But so far, I'm obsessed. Like, she's that girl and you need her in your life. So, yeah, go to your local Sephora and pick it up or Nordstrom's or whatever. And if you try it out, let me know what you think. And I hope you guys like this video. And like I said, there'll be many more to come. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to put all the um, all the products I use today in the description bar down below. But if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave a comment. And again, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.